Hello, everyone. I'm Adam with D&D Beyond, and thank you for joining me for this week's development update and community Q&A session. We're going to jump right in where I can leave as much time for questions as possible because I can never keep up. We'll talk about latest updates, what is upcoming for D&D Beyond, and then get into those questions. Ask questions in chat starting uh, probably three minutes ago, actually, you could start asking questions. So uh, preface that with the word question. And then our magical thing here uh, is going to pick those up. And then I will rapid fire toward the end. We also have some stream heroes going on here today. Again, I appreciate everyone helping us test that fun little game uh, here through, you know, probably the end of the year. We'll have some exciting updates when we re-emerge after the holiday break, I think, uh, on uh, Stream Heroes. But uh, but yeah, if you down these bosses, it gets you a chance to win a legendary bundle on D&D Beyond. And this legendary bundle is all of the material uh, for uh, Dungeons and Dragons on DDB. So it is a big deal trademark. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, every time a boss is down, everyone gets a chance to win that and uh, just pay attention to all the prompts in the chat as that is going. Latest updates. I am not sure if you know or not, but a supplement called Tasha's Cauldron of Everything has recently released and it uh, is massive. It is a massive addition to the game. Uh, lots of good stuff in there for players to sink their teeth into. And for the DDB team, we have been working over the last couple of weeks, uh, barring uh, the few days for the holidays there, but for the last couple of weeks, uh, post-release fixes, some display issues that we've run into. Uh, we uh, had some 500 errors uh, popping up uh, here or there. So the team has been monitoring all of those issues. We had some missing spells and the team is tackling those and has been on top of those uh, there's there's a big list that I think is in a forum post somewhere that I didn't remotely have enough room to actually share here on the screen today. Uh, so if you're curious about anything, you can check that out in that forum post. But either way, uh, the team is uh, making sure everything is being tweaked to the place it needs to be with Tasha's Cauldron of Everything content. Very soon, uh, there are going to be some fixes for Ranger a uh, favored enemy uh, that uh, have been sought after going in and then artificer infusion updates should be happening, uh, you know, may, maybe today, but before the end of the week, hopefully. So uh, that is also being worked and will be in there soon. And then uh, what we are working on and uh, doing the best that we can to try to get this completed before we leave for the holidays is the class feature option feats like infusions, invocations, maneuvers, etc., where other classes can pick those up and start using those. And then we are going to start uh, working on, or, or we are working on custom lineage and uh, figuring out what the best way to implement that would be. And we hope to get to that very soon as well. Uh, that one was uh, one of the curveballs that we weren't uh, uh, quite aware of until pretty, uh, pretty close to the release. So we're trying to get that one covered as well. So any questions about that, you can ask them here. Or if you want to get into a lot of specifics, you can go check out the forums and Discord and uh, ask those questions there. Also working now that uh, the core uh, part of the team uh, has gotten most of the Tasha's functionality in place, uh, we are getting dice uh, roll rolling for ability scores into the character builder. So that's uh, in progress right now. And then for the mobile app, we're working on getting everything ready. We've been looking at the, the test results for subscribers using digital dice um, uh, and, and all your skins in the mobile app. And so we'll be unlocking that for everyone very soon as well. So those are the latest updates. And then upcoming, we got a general feature system that I've talked about before, but this is something we're excited uh, to dive into uh, kind of in that on deck range there. 
we've talked about character sheet updates and some of the things that with the rapid pace that uh, some of these new rules have come out, we haven't been able to cover all of those gaps. And so uh, our Q1 is dedicated to looking at the uh, you know biggest issues that we have here and addressing those. So we're uh, going to get into those very soon as well. And then share dice rolling. We've teased this a couple of times and uh, the team is working very hard on that. I love what I'm seeing. We will be able to uh, provide, uh, you know, possibly even a demo of that, uh, maybe when we return from the holidays. So uh, looking forward for, to everyone getting their eyes on that and seeing uh, the excitement out there because I'm sure there's going to be that because I have been very excited seeing it myself. And then upcoming, we are going to break for the holidays. This is personally one of my favorite times of the year. It's very tough uh, to take a uh, vacation for me most of the time during the year because it never fails uh, once uh, you know I, I get somewhere else, try to unplug, uh, everyone else is working. And uh, so it, it makes it challenging sometimes. But what is so great about our holiday break is there is no one working. And so it's uh, one of the times where all of our teams can unplug, recharge the batteries, and it's become a very, very important time of the year uh, to you know, maintain work-life balance and everything else and be able to uh, come back and hit the ground running in January. So that is going to be happening. I guess we will have, we will at least have next week's dev update. And then I'm going to have to check and see if we're going to have the one after that or not. But we'll keep you posted as of next week. But then we will be uh, taking, you know, essentially the back half of December uh, and that first week of January uh, will be uh, kind of a quiet time for D&D Beyond. Now, I want to make sure that everybody's fully aware all services will be monitored. There will be people on call uh, if anything uh, you know, goes wrong, we will be on top of that just as quickly as ever. Uh, but uh, more of the uh, other day to day operations are, are going to be, uh, we're going to be taking a break from those and recharging those batteries. Tasha's Cauldron of Everything is available now on DD Beyond. Purchase before January 5th to unlock the Cauldron die set, as well as character sheet backdrops, themes, and frames.